So, you're one of the thousands who bought a P1P from Bamboo Labs. Maybe you haven't printed an enclosure yet and you're wondering if you should upgrade to a P1S. Let's talk. So your Bamboo Labs printer is probably your favorite printer right now with reliability, with easy to use, freaking fast prints and even an AMS option. So maybe you're wondering, should I really upgrade to the P1S? The quick answer is yes! But hear me out. So although I had some issues with my upgrade, like a few screws that were missing and, and a seal on the backside, they did send the screws by the way, but I had already assembled mine and I was kind of grumpy about the filter, like the seal thing on the backside it was missing, but they didn't inform me that they had sent it. So I already had a pretty angry support call. But the, other than that, the process was very simple and quite fun actually to upgrade my P1P to the P1S. Now, I bought my P1P pretty early, so I got the auxiliary cooling fan, the camera, and those kind of extra stuff that you got in the beginning. So, I got an extra auxiliary fan, so now I have two. I don't know if I can use two, probably not, it Doesn't there's no spot for it. So, I kind of paid extra for that, but okay, I got some nice covers. And also, annoyingly, my light mount, where you mount the LED inside, according to the videos, the, it was supposed to be in one location, but when you upgrade this, there's like a hatch, and it doesn't match anymore, and there's nothing in the description, I had to go to the forums, and kind of embarrass myself, everyone telling me, oh, you have the camera in the wrong place, but that's what the guide said. So uh, yeah, there were some hiccups, but all in all, it was a super easy process. So now we have a P1S. <laughs> the first thing I tried was to print some more ASA. If you don't know, ASA has the tendency to kind of work like ABS. So before the enclosure, I had some real problems with the kind of files with the PP and the ASA. But afterwards, all of those files were printing flawlessly. I turned up the temperature, reduced the fan to really heat up the chamber. And that was really nice results with these warping materials. So when I tried more of the polypropylene PP, uh, it's a bit more difficult. It's still very prone to warping, but it's more about adhesion. So I don't have the polypropylene specific magic glue yet that's coming. And I only use the standard dual-sided texture plate, so not the best match, but uh, I still saw some improvements. But it's all about the glue or the adhesion. Some people say that you should use packing tape with PP. Mine didn't work at all, so, so I'm gonna root for the glue. The important thing is that PLA still prints perfectly with this machine. So there's enough fans to really drag out all the air to make it cool inside. But again, if you live in a really hot room, you might want to take out the top glass. And for that, it's as simple as lifting it up and opening the door, and your printer is like a P1P. Before the upgrade, I was a bit concerned about adding two more fans. Um, for me, the sound level has become lower because all the high pitch sounds are, are gone. But there's still, of course, quite a lot of noise from this machine. It's not like a really quiet one. But I think the enclosure actually keeps some of the sound inside. One of the most impressive things was that even though I didn't have the seal installed, Printing ASA or ABS really removed all the smell. So I don't know if all the harmful particular were removed, but all the smell was gone. And that's really impressive. That's worth the upgrade itself. So my really fast conclusion is that yes, it's worth it. Especially if you print any type of engineering or complex materials that are prone to warping. You don't want to put the P1P in like a 3D printing tent. They usually don't support the AMS anyways. And uh, yeah, you, you can really ramp up the temperatures and keep it hot. And if you're worried that it's too much work doing this upgrade process, I think it's pretty fun. It's not that complicated. And I mean, most type of users that use a 3D printer, not as fancy as this one, they have to kind of get dirty on the machine and screw some screws, uh, troubleshoot some. If you have a P1P, you probably haven't done that yet. It's a few screws in, but you get some upgrades like better fan controls and you have the improved cable tray and you get, uh, yeah, it's better. It's beautiful with covers on. So uh, if you haven't printed your own yet, or if you haven't ordered a tent, and if you're about to go into some more warpy materials, I really recommend getting the P1S upgrade kit. So that's all for this short video. Thanks so much, stay subscribed. There's coming more about 3D scanning, cool projects with Warhammer, and tons of fun stuff. I even got a few fast 3D printers coming. See you guys in the next one. Bye.